G'day and welcome back to my channel. Now look, I've got a problem. I'm very, very unhappy. Look at this, look at this, right? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Lockdown, right? No money because I'm not working and I got fat. You know the reason why? Because I wasn't buying any model kits. Exactly, that's right. Buying model kits keeps you thin and healthy. Believe me, and I'll explain why in this video that I'm going to call the unhealthy gooch, all right? So you don't believe me, you better keep watching. All right, roll the music. Okay, so what am I talking about? Now this is the God's honest truth. Man, would I lie to you? Would I tell you a fib on my channel? Well, um, no, don't, don't answer that. All right, here's the thing, right? Okay, lockdown, staying at home. So, you know, I'm just doing what I normally do. I stay at home anyway. I work from home, right? Okay. All I've got is a bit more time on my hands and watching a bit more TV. Uh, all right. That, that's that's all the same. Uh, going out and exercising, I don't do that. Right? I'm not that sort of person. I'm a model maker. I don't really go out and go to the gym and do all that sort of stuff. What I do is I buy model kits. So I'm sitting there intently watching the screen, going through ads, working through lots and lots of classifieds, comparing prices, checking reviews. Some of them by the idiots in Australia. They seem to think what I know what they're talking about. For us. Uh, right. <laughs> talking about me. Talking about me. Yeah, don't get offended. Um, so I'm busy, busy, busy. That's mental activity. Okay? Mental activity. I'm thinking hard. I'm planning things. You are burning up calories, right? All that exertion... From trying to figure out, is this the better model? Should I buy that one? Should I get it in this scale? Does this kit maker make a better one than that? Read reviews. Does this guy know what he's talking about or is he talking through his ass? Okay? All those things are engaging and they are calorie burning. That's number one. Okay, so you've done that. You've done that. And now you push the button. The absolute joy. The absolute joy of click buy now. The endorphins. The endorphins pour through you. I mean, serotonin, all kinds of good natural hormones push through your body. They are making you healthy. They are calming you down. They're relaxing you. You basically feel energized. You feel like getting up and cooking yourself a good curry. Yes. And that, that burns calories as well, right? Getting up there and finding the ingredients and, you know, basically, you know, beating up the vegetables and getting all those spices ground. That is very healthy to do, right? Calories being burnt again. So, so far, the process has done quite a lot. But that's not it. This is just the tip of the iceberg. What happens next is, all right, you are then waiting online, waiting online, waiting online, waiting online. And then the day comes that it's delivered. Now, what I do, okay, what I do to make sure I get a little bit of exercise is I have mine delivered down to the post office locker, right? It's sort of like a PO box, but it's a locker. So it's really big. I can put big kits in there. So they send me a message, ding, straight away, I'm feeling good, straight away again, endorphins and anticipation, the adrenaline rushes through me, these are all good things, it's building up my cardiovascular system, okay, pump a pump a pump a blood, this is all good stuff, I get in the car, well I've got to walk down the steps, well first I've got to get dressed, because usually I'm just sort of bumming around here in my pyjamas, I mean it's, it's lockdown, <laughs> you don't have to even clean your teeth, alright, got to find my um, mask, can't even say it, can't even say it. Bloody teeth get all tangled. In fact, the car bloody see you when you've got your fruity mask on. I mean, I grow this fabulous, great big long beard during lockdown and it's sort of counterintuitive because then you've got to wear a bloody mask and nobody can see it, right? Yes, all right, well, hopefully when it's all over, suddenly I'll have this great big Santa Claus beard and lots of little girls like to sit on my knee. That's another story. Okay, so we're getting excited. We're getting our clothes on. This is all energetic. We're stretching. This is all good stuff. Stretching and preparing, which is what you must do before any energetic activity. Stretching to put on your pants, right? Find some underdecks, you know, that aren't too bloody sticky and that you might be able to get away with. Get them on, right? Get all ready. Out you go the front door. There's all the steps. There's plenty of steps in my house. I've got to get down all these steps. That's a big, you know, that's a workout. That's like step master, okay? You know, forget those bloody gyms. I just got to go up and down my steps because they are all kind of wonky and it's it's a real effort. Got to open the gates. That's, you know, that's almost like using a rowing machine opening my gates because they're all rusted to buggery and they don't work really well. So it's sort of quite an effort to unscrew them and pull them back. Every now. Right? Resistance exercise. Resistance exercise. That's true. Okay, now I'm going to get in my car. Okay, start her up. We're going to have a little rest period here, rest period. And now I've got to get out 
and get through the traffic. Well, there isn't much traffic because it's locked down, right? There's sort of hardly anybody about. So we can drive as fast as we like. So this is basically like motor racing sports, okay? So you can hit it. You can fly around those corners. You can rip around. You can, you can tear as far as you like. I've only got about four kilometres to go to my uh, post office lock. Or I can get there in like seconds flat, okay? Again, adrenaline, exercise. I am literally sweating off the bloody energy, well, I'm not sweating off the energy, but I'm sweating off the calories, okay? So this is all good stuff. I'm getting fitter and fitter and fitter. And I haven't even got my model yet. So I get down there. I get down to the post office and I have to get out of the car. Physical activity. Stretch, again, because I've done all that sort of high anxiety stuff in the car, building up the adrenaline for my, my basically my Formula 1 race all the way to the post office. Got to go to that post office box thing. And then got to get my phone out because you've got to put a little code in, right? So... Ding, get the phone out sort of thing. Ding. And then there's the excitement of, boing, one of these little boxes pops open. And there's your model. Oh, pulling it out, okay? There's a good little exercise there. That's the lift and a pull. Again, look at those muscles being moved. and You're basically really working yourself out. And then that model, you've got to carry it to the car. I mean, I buy big models. So carry it to the car and in it goes. So, so far you have burned off a shitload of calories, right? You are feeling great. You are pumped. Your cardiovascular system is all right. This is good. You get in there and you drive home again at 600 miles an hour. Okay. You get home and you're, you're just so worked up. You're so excited, right? You get in that squeaky gate again, right? Resistance exercise up those steps, right? Push, push, push inside. Bang, into your hobby room, fantastic. And then you open it up, there's that kit. Now look at the fantastic workout that you've had, or I've had, just buying that model. Now look, the um, experience can be doubled. You can actually get twice a workout. There's another way to do it. You still do all that searching online and checking out, you know, reviews and comparing prices and doing all that stuff. So that's all the mental activity. That's all very good. That's all warming you up. That's what they call visualization, right? You talk to any of um, the uh, professional elite athletes, they talk about visualization. Visualize the thing before you do it, right? It's all about the visualization. So I am visualizing that I'm going to get this model, right? I'm visualizing I'm exactly the one I want. So all that's being done. It's really good stuff. Very good for your mental activity. It's, it's brilliant for your health. So we do all that again, okay? But this time, we have picked a local hobby store, which is a little further to drive, okay? So this time, we've got to go, you know, 15, 20 kilometers. And we may have to go through tunnels and over bridges. So this now becomes quite an epic adventure. This is basically... Um, a trek, okay? This is a trek. So you're going to need to pack some water and you're going to pack, pack a bit of food and everything. You've got to treat this as though you're going on a big hike, right? It's a big thing. You're going for quite some time. You may have to seek food and shelter when you get there. There's all kinds of variables and things in the way. There are more cars on the road you've got to avoid. This is a big activity and this is quite calorie burning, all right? So you won't be able to go quite as fast. I mean, I can zip down to the post office. There's nobody here, right? But as soon as I actually go into the middle of Brizzy, well, there's a few people around and some of those boys in blue, they don't appreciate you trying to get some exercise in your motor car. They really, they don't grasp the concept, okay? Never mind. All right, so, local hobby store, you get there. You've got to park in the car park. You've got to walk a whole distance to the shop. Anticipation, you've got to pull that shop door open. In you go. You've got to, like, do some nodding and hello to the guy that works there and everything. You might even have to have a conversation. Three masks. Hey, mate. Yeah, I'm going, mate. That's good. You got any fucking models? Yeah, that's okay. Right, okay. Back shelf, back shelf. Bro, right, I'll go fucking down there and have a look. And so that's what you do, okay? And down you go, all masked up and being bloody COVID friendly and everything. And you go down to the back shelves and you look around. And again, there's all this anticipation, excitement. Because you may have picked out a certain model, but then something else catches your eye. And you look around and there's this and there's that and there's the other. And this is a great activity, right? Because you're basically out, you're getting eye exercise, you're doing distance. I mean, the fact that you've gone outside is you're getting sunlight in your eyes. This is all good for you. In fact, there's just so much good stuff here. So you grab this model, right? And again, you go to the bench and uh, the, the where well, he's got a cash register. Hey, mate, I found this model. How much fucking is it? Okay, right? And um, you purchase it. Of course, you can't touch anybody and you can't hand over any money. You just basically, you know, credit card, or in my case, the phone, you know, bang, and, and there we go. That That's done. That's a simple activity. Okay, then the reverse happens. We're out. We're going to carry this great big heavy model out to the car. 
all the way back home. Um, can't go very fast until I get nearly at home, you know, where it's sort of reasonably quiet then. <laughs> cut it, cut it, cut it. All the way <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm getting so excited by this. I can already feel my heart rate going up, right? I can already feel my muscles tensing. I reckon doing this video alone, I burn off enough calories to basically have a nice big fat curry tonight. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is helping. So... Can you see this thing? Can you visualize it? Can you see exactly what I'm talking about? By buying model kits, us modelers get out of our hobby rooms, right? We get out into the community or we get outside. We move around. We, we lift, we push, we strain. We basically do a whole lot of things that are absolutely brilliant for our bodies. And then at the end of that, we have the pleasure of the new kit that we can then build, right? And that's what the hobby is all about, really, is, is enjoying building all these kits. But look at all the good stuff that's associated with, the stuff that keeps you healthy. So the next time somebody says to you, you can't have another kit, tell them to piss off. So get stuffed. This is keeping me healthy. Harry Houdini said so. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. Most of it was true. All of it was true in part. Yeah, would I tell you a lie? <laughs> but anyhow, yes, buying model kits will keep you healthy. Now, if you enjoyed this video, look, hit that like button, okay? Because um, that's really good. If that like button goes off, then YouTube basically promotes my video and people get to see it. And then I get a couple of bloody sets so I can feed Bass the Cat. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of stuff like this. There's also serious videos where I'm building models like I'm working on the Schnell boat down there. That's coming along. There'll be a uh, video out hopefully on the weekend the final video for that, showing how I put it all together. And um, you can hit that bell notification. Apparently that goes bing, right? And lets you know that I've put out another video so that you can get to it straight away. The algorithm goes, oh shit, people are actually watching this idiot's videos. Boing, let's push him up the points a bit and show a few ads on his channel. And hopefully some bastard will watch him and then he'll get a few dollars. <laughs> and if you really want to support me, uh, you can go over to Patreon, there'll be a link here somewhere, okay? And on my Patreon channel, from little as a dollar a month, you'll get to see the videos 24 hours early, and advert free. How good's that? Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Okay, well, that's it. That's all I've got to say. So, <laughs> it's goodbye from Australia, and it's hooray from Harry Udini.